Hello everyone, uh, we're going to do this painting. This is a reproduction of a painting I did a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a painting at, I did it at, uh, at Hale Street in Rockport. Uh, nice hill. It was very, very cold that morning. I actually painted it in my car. I right, we're going to drop a, uh, a wash of uh, Windsor Blue on the sky. And you can go back in with a towel and, and pick out some clouds if you like. Get a little movement up there. All right. All right, then we're going to do uh, some warm and cool on the house itself. These, this is a white house, but uh, we're using raw sienna there and cobalt blue. And just let them mix themselves, you know, get a nice vibration. Beautiful reflective light with all this snow around. This is, a, you know, the street. It's at the top of a hill there. So we're looking up at it. That's why the house is high up on your paper. Keep it above the, above the uh, center line on your paper so that you're looking up at it. It makes it much more dramatic and uh, interesting uh, scene. So I'm painting the shadow side of the house with the ultra, I'm sorry, with cobalt blue and raw sienna. Just get a vibration of the two colors in there little raw sienna under the eave of the house. All right, this is Windsor blue for the snow. And what you want to pay attention to is the, you know, the diagonal. Keep it going up like we're looking up the hill. Gives you a nice composition, nice interesting. And just spatter that uh, cobalt blue. Don't try to paint it like a wall, you know, just paint it randomly so that the, the blues are moving around. You can mix in a little bit of ultramarine. All right, there's a couple of bushes here that are backlit. So what I'm doing here is putting this light, this is Quinn Gold actually, and then I'm going in with a very dark uh, warm color. This is Quinn Sienna and ultramarine blue. So I'm painting that at the core of the bush and letting the edges, you know, letting the edges run together, get a little movement there break up that edge. Try to keep a nice, a little bit of a halo on top of that bush, a little piece of white going down. We'll come back with some shadows later. You can take your towel and just lift out some pieces of light on the top of the bush, work in a little bit of shrubbery. All right, up in the, up back in the roof now, uh, part of the roof is showing. You know how when snow hits the roof and some of it melts off, in the corners where the heat is 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 uh, gathering in the roof, so we'll paint just pieces of shingles, the shingled roof coming through the snow, and that's going to be on uh, all the dormers. There's there's four dormers here on this house. Real New England, beautiful. Uh, that's a beautiful scene there. All right, so just leave a little bit of a, a, this is just a dark gray you know, ultramarine with a little touch of quinciana, a little bit of cobalt blue mixed in there. All right, so just, you could do this randomly, but it's just leave a few, a little bit of the roof showing through all that snow. All right, there's a house in the background here that I made up. I'm just, I just made the shape up, so I'm just painting that in with, that, that's the same color of, as the roof. And I added a little bit of cobalt blue to that. All right, just putting the uh, windows in here uh, with a nice square brush. All right, same gray, maybe a little lighter. Some, put a little Windsor blue in there to get the reflection of the snow. So what I usually do is paint the windows like so, and then uh, go in with a towel and just touch that window so that it, it gives you a little bit of reflection. All right. But, Get them in, drop a little bit of that Windsor Blue in there, and then just touch them with a the towel. You can see that it gives you a nice sense of reflective light going up in there. All right, get the side windows in. Just pay attention to the, to the uh, diagonal of the house, you know, where it's going back, the prospectus of, prospectus of the house. <laughs> All right. Just a little piece of these windows showing up there. All right. I'm going to put a little shadow back on that back house. So 
another house off in the distance. Just be careful of that white. You want to leave the white on top of that bush. Show it like, so it's showing sort of like a halo on the bush. You know, it's backlit. You can drop some um, a, a really in yellow on top of that if you want to make it a little brighter. Okay, like this is a cadmium red light mixed with cobalt blue. Give you a beautiful uh, color for those bricks. So paint the chimneys in there, and then if you want, you can go in and drop a little more red in there uh, to get a little bit of reflective light. But that's a it's a, it's a fairly perfect color for those chimneys. We have one over on this house and a small one on the left side there. Okay. All right, let's paint the tree now. The tree is a big part of this painting. It has a wonderful shape to it. And normally what I do is I, I paint in the trunk of the tree and the big heavy branches first. Okay. This is uh, ultramarine with uh, quinacridone sienna and a touch of rose. You can use a touch of cad red if you like, and uh, get the big the big branches, the heavy branches in. And you'll see, and then we'll go back in and, and do the smaller branches. But take it take your time here. Look at it. You know, take a good look at the the photo and it's a great tree it's just beautiful character to it you know great gesture the way it's running off and nice strong branches <clears throat> okay i'm going to change my brush here and just use a really fine brush get the ends of the tree in there to have fun with it you know take your time with this there's no hurry plenty of branches you know big a big mistake that students make is that they you know they put the they put the branches in there actually most of them put them too thin and then they don't put enough you know they leave the tree before they they finish you, you want to get enough branches and you want to get enough branches off the branches and you know plenty of plenty of action up there plenty of stuff going on and you know this particular tree it's bare so well, you can see that the branches but it's a beautiful silhouette against that white house you know it really adds a lot to the to the painting keep working it yeah Plenty of branches. I'll, I'll probably go back when I finish this painting and add more branches. But just for the sake of the video, I'm just doing, uh, doing the minimum here. But I want you to see it, and I want you to continue doing it. Don't be afraid of it. But get that beautiful curve on the tree. I love this tree. couple of branches, small coming out of the ground next to the tree. Let me add a little bit. Beautiful addition to this painting. Take your time, enjoy it. All right, we have another tree in the background here. It's, it's nice, it gives it a nice balance. Uh, with these trees the smaller one in the back obviously you could add a little more cobalt blue to this one as you put it in um, so it's a little bit lighter hard to see in this video but just a little bit lighter so that it goes back a little bit maybe we'll put some uh, the suggestion is some old leaves or something on there all right Notice I have a towel on the paper. My, it's so easy to smudge the paint. You know, you're doing these white, white paintings. 
Don't be afraid to put a little water on a towel and just scrub that, scrub those smudges out. <laughs> I'm really, I can really be a slob when it comes to this stuff, boy. Yeah, just clean it right out. My little, I'm just really taking a little water and pulling off that color from the tree itself. Just a suggestion of, you know, leaves in the background. And, all right, I'm going to take, take that color and pop a window here in the house. Maybe some below here. Yeah, just a few suggestions of windows and maybe one on that other house in the back there. Okay. All right, it's coming along. We're not far. All right. Windsor Blue. I'm just Windsor Blue and a little bit of uh, Ultramarine I mixed in just to get a little shadow. Very random here. I'm basically just throwing the paint at the, in the shadow areas, but leave that white trail going up. And a little more, uh, a little more cooler light on the house itself. Just randomly, you know, let the... It's just reflective light bouncing all over the place here, so just have fun with it, enjoy it. Okay, I'm putting some cobalt blue onto that uh, tree just to show a little reflective, the cool reflective light of that. All right, yeah, pretty much there. Flight of stairs going up there to the house. All right. Well, thank you. I, I love this painting. I love the uh, scene there. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a few things. And uh, I'm going to do a bunch of snow paintings coming up. So please subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it very much. And I will see you very soon with another painting. Thank you.